So when you look at putting together a website, what's important is that you look at all of the aesthetics of it so that you can know how to grow your audience, because growing an audience is important, right? So you look at the different fonts that are used. Notice there's a line drawn through that. This is something we want to focus on. You notice that this font is different from everything else. So taking this opportunity to really go through it, you can know, look at news, information that's there, and then again, taking it back to what the school or institution or organization is about. This is how you create something that's not only visually appealing, but it gives the information to inform the visitor. Because once they're informed, they probably won't stay. And you want to get them to stay, but you certainly want to get them to come back. Any questions about that in creating websites? Questions, comments, concerns? No? Good stuff. All right. This is, and look, see? Look at the changes of it as we hit it. I mean, this is some great stuff here. Great stuff. So take a look at it. You're going to work on that on your assignment. And um, OK, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to check your phones or uh, computers. I just got an email. I know that HBCUs around the country have been experiencing bomb threats, and right now there's a bomb threat in this building. Bomb threat? I, yeah, I just... Uh, what? Stay calm. Stay no, calm. No, no, everybody, everybody stay no. calm. Right now, that they've just asked us to shelter in place in this room. Know that your desks will also serve as a place that you can be protected. Now just stay calm. We're going to get through this together. All right? We just got to shelter in place. We're going to get through experience everybody. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But we're, it's, it's almost hard to put into words what to say or, or how we should feel. One thing I know for sure is that if we do not stand in the face of adversity, then we will fall. We have to be vigilant when people come to us. This school didn't end up being where it is just because someone stood there and allowed someone to bully them. Because that's all bombing is, is bullying. One thing I've learned is bombers usually don't threaten, and threateners usually don't bomb. This is just somebody that wanted attention. But we cannot let somebody's cry for attention stop us from doing what each and every one of you came here to do. You came here to be educated. You came here to have a better life. You came here to change your communities. And the only way that we are going to continue to make that happen is if we stand vigilant, we do what we came here to do, and we empower our communities. Y'all, we got to be HBCU strong. 